Willie Hernangamas left the NBA a week ago because he was sick and tired of his role. But why did an NBA career end up like this for someone whose numbers are good? Willie went from one of the best rookies in his class to a backup's backup with the New Orleans Pelicans. Even though he didn't cry about his situation publicly, he was caged in New Orleans and wasn't allowed to spread his wings. I wanted to find out and understand why Willie ultimately decided to return to Spain, although he has the quality to play in the NBA. And here we go. Willie's NBA career started very well. The Spaniard was named in the NBA All-Rookie First Team after a stellar campaign with the New York Knicks where he averaged 8.2 points and 7 rebounds in just 18.4 minutes per game. But Hernan Gamas couldn't continue on building the momentum as his rookie season was close to being his best one in the NBA. So it's no shock that Hernan Gamas decided to go back home to Spain, where he signed a lucrative deal with Barcelona. Yet, the numbers speak for themselves. Statistically, Hernan Gamas had a pretty good time in the NBA. Across 344 games, he averaged 7.3 points and 5.8 rebounds per game, a testament to his talent and tenacity in just 15 minutes of playtime. The question lingers, why did he choose to depart the glitz and glamour of the NBA? First and foremost, Hernan Gamas wants to play. He finished last season with the New Orleans Pelicans getting on the court just 38 times for an average of 12.1 minutes. In an interview with the Spanish media, Hernan Gamas pointed out that the Pelicans had decided on the rotation from the beginning of the season and it was not changed. Hernan Gamas played a low fiddle on the Pelicans' center rotation, although he garnered a lot of praise from his teammates when he did get a chance to play for his effort, quality, and consistency. The same can't be said about Jackson Hayes. The 23-year-old American was ahead of Hernan Gamas in the rotation, although the Spaniard was good and Hayes had his worst season in the NBA by a considerable mile. The Pelicans' choices weren't questionable on just about the rotation. Hernan Gamas was involved in some trade rumors throughout his three seasons with the Pelicans, but the team refused to give him up even though they didn't use him as much as they could. Sure. Hernan Gamas is a prototypical center, not a modern one who can space the floor. Being a prototypical center meant that Hernan Gamas would never get a starring role. But that wasn't his objective. He has always admired his former teammate Steven Adams who has a very specific skill set and is satisfied with his role. Willie knew what his role is and didn't try to explore beyond it. In a way Hernan Gamas was caged with the Pelicans. He was good enough to play way more than he had the chance to but the team wasn't willing for him to spread his wings either at New Orleans or elsewhere. In all honesty, it was a lose-lose situation. Although Hernan Gamas hasn't publicly said this, it seems very likely that he returned to Europe because he just felt sick and tired of playing a lowly fiddle on the rotation, whether it'd be with the Pelicans or someone else. Playing for Barcelona will propel him to a star role, giving him much needed minutes at a very high level. It wouldn't be surprising if Hernan Gamas returns to the NBA after a season or two in Spain, but this time it would be on his terms. Willie doesn't mind coming off the bench, but he does mind not getting the chance he deserves.